Do not those who disbelieve see that the heavens and the earth were closed up? But we have opened them, and we have made of water everything living. Will they not then believe? Water is the most essential element to life on earth. Water exists in three different states of matter, gas, solid and liquid. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Latifah Muhammad no. Your General Chemistry TST0914 instructor from Tamidi Yusim. In this lesson, we will learn about the general properties of liquid, explain the vaporization and condensation process, and definition of vapor pressure and boiling point. We will also see relation between intermolecular forces to vapor pressure and vapor pressure to boiling point. Firstly, let's discuss about general properties of liquid. Number one, it can be shaped as it is in fluid form. Liquid has definite volume but indefinite shape. The particles of liquids are arranged closely but not as rigid as in gas. Liquid takes up the shape of the container in which it is stored. Liquid can be compressed slightly. Liquid can be compressed slightly as the particles of liquid still have space between them. Shrink is an example of compressibility of liquid. Next, liquid can be diffused. Similar with gas, liquid can be diffused, but the rate is slower than gas. The diffusion of liquid depends on the strength of intermolecular forces of the liquid. The stronger the intermolecular forces of the liquid molecules, the lower the rate of diffusion. Liquid has surface tension. Surface tension is a phenomenon observed on the surface of, the, of a liquid. It is caused by intermolecular forces acting between the li liquid molecules. The molecules on the surface of the liquid are pulled inwards and sideways by the neighboring molecules, but the molecules within the liquid experience intermolecular forces from all directions. This causes the liquid surface to tighten like an elastic film. This is one of the reasons why water striders can walk on the surface of water besides because of their unique legs. Liquid with strong intermolecular forces will have higher surface tension. But as the temperature of the liquid increases, for example in boiling water, the surface tension will be lower as the molecules gain energy and cause the intermolecular forces become less effective. Liquid has viscosity. Viscosity is a measure of fluid's resistance to flow. The greater the viscosity, the more slowly the liquid flows. For example, the, the viscosity of tomato sauce is higher than water. As the molar mass increases, the liquid will have more resistance in their flow and thus more viscous than the liquid with lower molar mass. This is because of the higher magnitude of the intermolecular forces. The stronger the intermolecular forces of a liquid, the higher the viscosity. Liquid can evaporate. Vaporization is the conversion of a liquid to gas. It occurs in two ways, evaporation and boiling. Evaporation is the change of state of a liquid into a vapor occurring only at the surface of a liquid at any temperatures and pressure. One of, uh, one of the most common real-life examples of evaporation is drying of clothes under the sun. When the wet clothes are put under the sun, they get heated up resulting in the evaporation of water particles present in the wet clothes, making the clothes dry. There are three factors affecting the rate of evaporation. The first one, surface area. The larger the surface area, the higher the rate of evaporation. Second, temperature. The higher the temperature, the higher the rate of evaporation. Last one is type of intermolecular forces. The weaker the intermolecular forces, the higher the rate of evaporation. What is vapor pressure? 
let's say we have a closed container which contain liquid and vapor. Molecules in the liquid phase will collide with each other. The molecules with high kinetic energy can overcome the attraction between them to enter the vapor phase. The collision of the molecules will continue in the vapor phase. The molecules with higher kinetic energy will overcome the attraction between them and bounce off and evaporate. In the vapor phase, the vapor molecules will collide with each other, the liquid surface and with the wall of the container. When the vapor molecules collide with the wall of the container, they exert a pressure which is called vapor pressure. There are two factors affecting the vapor pressure, intermolecular forces and temperature. The stronger the intermolecular forces, the lower the vapor pressure because high energy is needed to overcome the strong attraction between the liquid molecules, thus difficult for the liquid molecules to change to vapor. The higher the temperature, the higher the vapor pressure. This is because high temperature increases the kinetic energy of the molecules, hence easier for the liquid molecules to convert to, to, convert to vapor or gas. As what we have discussed in the previous slide, molecules in vapor phase will collide with each other, the liquid surface and the wall of the container. During the collision, some molecules may lose their energy. These molecules will trap among the liquid molecules, hence condense. This is the process called condensation. When the number of molecules leaving the liquid surface is the same as the number of molecules entering the surface of the liquid, the rate of evaporation is equal to the rate of condensation. This state is called dynamic equilibrium. The, the vapor pressure at the dynamic equilibrium is called equilibrium vapor pressure or maximum vapor pressure of a liquid. Next, let's see what is boiling process. Vapor pressure increases with increasing temperature. When vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure, the boiling process occurs. The boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure. There are two factors affecting the boiling point. First one is atmospheric pressure. The higher the atmospheric pressure, the higher the boiling point because the vapor pressure of the liquid system has been increased. For example, if we boil water at the top of the mountain where the atmospheric pressure is lower, the vapor pressure needs to be decreased until it is equal to the atmospheric pressure to boil the water. Hence, the boiling point of water at the top of the mountain is lower compared to the ground. Same concept, if we boil water at the sea level, the vapor pressure needs to be increased to reach the boiling point. Second factor is called intermolecular forces. The stronger the intermolecular forces, the higher the boiling point because more energy is needed to overcome the forces. Examples of liquid elements are shown in this slide. Two elements are liquid at standard temperature and pressure or STP. They are bromine and mercury. Another two metals have very low melting points, cesium and gallium. In warmer climates, these metals may be liquid at room temperature. In this lesson, we have learned the general properties of liquid the vaporization and condensation process based on kinetic molecular theory and intermolecular forces, and the definition of vapor pressure and boiling point relating intermolecular forces to vapor pressure and vapor pressure to boiling point. See you next time in the next lesson. Thank you.